costs. Well, the petrol prices, fuel prices hiked once again today. So in many state capitals, uh, petrol is now over 105 rupees a litre. And in many others, we are now over a century a litre. In Delhi as well, prices of petrol are nearly at 100 rupees. Also, diesel prices going up across the country as well. Now, remember, diesel, of course, also crucial for farmers, trucks, transport of vegetables. So it has an impact on food inflation as well. Let's just look at this ground report on what the rising fuel prices actually means for people. I'm at a petrol station in Chennai's Mailapur area. Today the petrol price is 100 rupees and 78 paise per litre. I'm filling for 1,000 rupees. To break it down, the petrol cost is money 400 rupees. Around 600 go as taxes. How does it impact? Well, six months ago when the petrol price was 88 rupees a litre, I was able to drive 121 kilometres for every fill. Now it's the same car, the same amount, but I'm able to drive only 109 kilometers. That's 12 kilometers less every time. food and utilities. Plus, normal clothing. So, at least we can do At least, we can do 80, 70, but if you are in the hundred, it is very difficult. The cost of petrol and diesel is higher in Rajasthan than anywhere else in the country. Now, why is that? That's because the VAT in Rajasthan is the highest at 36%. Also, there's an additional road cess on fuel, 1.75 rupees per liter. The dealer commission also has a value added tax and the brunt of that is borne by the consumer. So for example, in Jaipur, petrol is at 106 rupees a liter. It's even higher in its westernmost district, Ganganagar, where it is at 110 rupees per liter. But how are consumers coping? The middle class consumer is the worst hit. बहुत फर्क पड़ गया बजट में तो पहले एक हफ्ते चलता था अब चार दिन चलता है पहले usually I was travelling with quid मेरे पास गाड़ी थी four wheeler अभी मैंने को bike से काम करना पड़ रहा है otherwise जो है जितनी salary आ रही that is all on मतलब जो है petrol में plus घर के खर्चे जो है उसमें हो जाता है